Every time I've gotten divorced, <laughs> I have had to develop a new lust for life. I've had to figure out a way that I find myself again, because I find myself embedded in a relationship that maybe didn't work or circumstances that were difficult to repair. And I've had to pick myself up and just say, okay, Jane, what are you going to do now? I am unapologetic about being married and getting divorced. I'm always labeled, oh, well, you've had so many divorces, like I've failed or something, but I don't feel I have. I've created some wonderful children. I'm still very close to the people who loved me and I love them and we still love each other. So if you don't fail, you can't win. Did I think I'd find a good relationship like I have right now. No, I found a relationship totally by accident. Somebody that I'd known 30 something years earlier. I'm not buzzing around doing Tinder or Bumble or whatever anybody's doing. There are different times in your life where you look for different things. When you're 30, you may be looking for somebody to be a life partner to have children with. In my case, can I find somebody who's going to be understanding of my love of my career, of, of loving to, to act? You know, I might be in Australia next week. I'm not really considering marriage at this time. I'm very happy the way things are. I don't want to put a number on anything. I don't need to quantify it. For me, it's two people doing their best to make life good for one another. What makes me feel sexy? Being able to have a comedic, intellectual and intimate experience that happens also to be sexual. I don't feel any different really than when I was 40 or 50. It's just that I've been around and done a lot since then. <laughs> I wanted to prove that I could be clothed and be as sexy as anyone that wasn't. So I was not naked in that Playboy at all. And this last time I wasn't naked either. In fact, I had more clothes on than when I go in the swimming pool with my kids and my grandchildren. So I don't know why everyone got terribly excited about it, but I got excited when I thought, well, you know what, what does this say? This says that I am still a woman and that I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm the only one that actually said no and then quit acting for a year it, because it wasn't comfortable for me. It was not a bargaining tool. I wanted to be an actress for my acting chops and for nothing else. That was it. The only reason that I ever spoke about it was A, the people involved are all past and I don't need to name names. And B, it was definitely for me the right choice. And, you know, I've, I've had a perfectly nice career. I mean, could it have been better? I don't know, maybe. But, you know, I, I'm pretty satisfied. to find a killer and a kidnapper. And this is normal behavior for a woman your age. Normal is overrated. When Harry Wilde, Harry is a very independent practitioner. She's not afraid to have an affair. She's not afraid to have a sexual encounter and then just go, thanks, that was fun, bye. She's a little bit like a guy in some way, you know, down the pub. She'll just, oh, I think I fancy that guy. The next thing you know, on she goes to whatever else she's going to do that day. I'm trying to show that being older doesn't mean you quit. It gets better and better as you go along. I'm very proud of it. Am I younger in spirit than I am in age? Probably, until I run and jump and suddenly realize that I don't land quite as well as I did before. But I'm saying if you don't want to be invisible and you want to continue feeling lively and have fun and feel kind of sensual, sexy or whatever, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm honestly grabbing life by the horns.